Hey my art guys, in this video we are going to model and UE map the stylized medieval cup using new blender 4.0. Can you believe I switched from blender 2.7? What a day! <laughs> and we are starting with creating a simple cylinder with about 20 verticals will be pretty enough. And I'm using new material for our model so it will look pretty cool visually creating another one cylinder a poison kit on the lower part of the cup this will be a metal thing and another one metal thing also using new feature with the keyboards that showing what I press on the left side of the display so maybe this will be helpful for you and I'm not going to super low poly for this cup I'm using as much polys as I need to so our cup isn't looking edgy I added a mirror for everything and going to get some cool forms here we are making a stylized cup and I want to be sure that my forms isn't like super straight and it looks like something stylized cool looking one I will be messing a lot with those some um, verticals here I want to make a cover silhouette for everything and cover forms When I'm making these uh, wooden forms on the upper part, I also thinking how many like planks, wooden parts my cup will have. So you, you don't want to go crazy with these uh, forms on upper side. So make sure you, you can see your planks there because we're going to paint a darker areas there that separates those planks. So. Modeling not just randomly, but thinking about the textures And same for the this metal Thingy I want to get some cooler forms Not usual ones and they should not look like ultra broken ones so just some interesting shape making cool forms for everything but make sure it's not too much and I always imagine the texturing when I'm modeling so that's why I made couple these more further surfaces because I know that I can paint something very cool there but we will get to the textures in the next video we're gonna do some unusual texturing stuff something that we didn't done before Of course in the videos, I already did it many times. So we are doing also cover forms for our one. And creating another cylinder, seven verticals. This will be a rivets bolt stuff. I also gonna do very unusual form for it, not like super straight one, but with different size surfaces, surfaces, yeah. There we go. 
I think that kind of forms will look much more cooler and stylize it. This will be our feature for this model. Go with unusual forms. And this one, the cylinder, uh, goes in the middle. I think it was 12 verticals and I want to place on it some kind sign. I'm going to paint it. But this thing will be our like point of interest and everyone can paint what they want there. For example, I think to paint there um, like a Warcraft shaman icon. I think it will look pretty cool on the cup. And I'm moving a little bit the wooden cup verticals. Not to make like super better forms, but I want uh, this uh, middle metal thing to fit better in our wooden surface and the silhouette will look like more interesting and correct and of course interesting forms everywhere and I'm going only with um, two surfaces for this middle thing so one will be darker other one a lighter going to look cool when we're gonna paint it. Moving our rivets boats and I'm not placing them like super correct. They place it pretty randomly not like on the same line with each other. And now it's time to make a um, handle for the cup. I'm starting with vertical. I'm enjoy doing vertical forms. It's easier like starting with vertical and you can do the forms you need much easier than working with like many polys like with the cube stuff or something. Trying to get some interesting forms here, not just a straight cubo like hand on. And those angles I made here, like they can look a little bit sharp, but I made them because of the design, not because we are a lack of polish. I think I can paint them like pretty cool. And now I fill it with the polis. Pressing F. And there we go. Small forms adjustment. Now we go for mirror and extrude it, change a little bit forms. I never going with like super straight forms, I really enjoy for stylize it to like make interesting mesh silhouettes. Adding some smooth to make it look mm, cooler while we're modeling and also as you see this like shape language we have same faces on both sizes that look in one direction 
and it means this gonna look cool for sure. And I'm not going to save polish, so I extruded the lower part to I'm not going super low poly anymore and for the middle part I want to uh, add a surface here on this part so we will not be painting on the wooden cap thing and that way we will have more flat surface to paint on it will be easier and it will be a metal one small corrections and I think we can add something interesting to our cup this will be like a ring so you can place your cup on kitchen hook or something nail <laughs> so it will be placed there after the washing Just had an idea and it's there. Why not? I think this will look cool. If you have some ideas, just put them all on your cup. And the modeling is done. Now I will apply the modifiers and removing half of the cup to make it on mirror. Everything here will go on mirror. And we are doing the UVs, making mark seams on some lines here. And it's kinda it. Oh, I missed some poly, removing it. There's our UVs, we will adjust them a little bit. Making them more straight without using add-ons, but you can use I know there's many cool blender add-ons for UVs. For me it's just not taking much time, couple minutes on UVs and I'm good. And starting collecting our UV like a Tetris game with the bigger on the side. On the left side. I was starting from west side. Left angle side and collecting together the bigger ones then the more straight ones and anything that left goes after it that way we are using as much as possible uv space trying to fill it all or at least 80 percent and it's kind of cool rotating some objects yeah it's like a tetris game so the ones that fit together goes together just increasing size a little bit i feel we can use bigger size to fill all the uvs size for them a little bit because we have many spaces or on UV left and there we go 
UVs are done, modeling are done. It looks super cool and it's ready for texturing. And this actually was my first model in the Blender 4.0. I hope you enjoyed the video and in the next part we're gonna do the texturing. Don't forget to subscribe and join our art discord. See ya! Bye bye guys!